Hey everybody, welcome back. We're doing the 420 Bible Study and Torah Tour because we have the Torah open, we have the Bible open, and we're going to open up a can of fragrant canopies. Cannabis. Can of peace. Can he be for us? Who can be saved? How do you want to form, a, form the sentence at that point? We're trying to put something together, brew it, and create an emotion of pleasantness. Ah, you get the message, do you? Or did you completely misunderstand what I said because I was sort of babbling? Well, we babble. The reason why he gave us the branch is it reconnects us, replugs us into our heart and our mind, not our stomach. Food for thought, not food for stomach. In time? Ah, the veil is now being removed. Because we realize that cannabis is good, and God loves us, and he gave us the aroma of his son in the form of a plant named cannabis. So God's mercy and Israel's unfaithfulness. So Israel cheated on God. They didn't believe. They started to get used to the Greeks, and they started to fall in line with other people. And it's kind of like elementary school. And you go there and you learn your ABCs and you listen to the teachers and really that's your only environment besides mom and dad, right? So you just have those two environments. But slowly you hear other words creep in and you see other people acting differently. And if you're at a Christian school and you go outside, you're like, oh my, what is that? And then you get to sixth, seventh, eighth grade, middle school. And then you get to high school and you're like, hey, I wanna tap that, I wanna try that, I'd like to try that, please, what's on the menu for today? And then all of a sudden you're in college, you're like, hey, I'm an adult and I can do, I can have a beer at 10 o'clock in the morning if they sell beer. And you do it, you try it, because you're an adult. It's still poison. But now that I'm aware of how to take care of the body, is to feed it one thing, the aroma of food. That's it. Now, I have flavor, and I have mint ice cream, and I have these and that, but my food bill at Bonds went way down. My cannabis bill shot up just a little bit. So my faithfulness, or unfaithfulness to him, listen to the beginning of this. This is what the Lord says. Now, this is the Greek. So in your head, translate the word Lord, any, any God form of Lord, to Hashem. This is what the Lord says. Your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, for your sake I will send to Babylon and bring down as fugitives all the Babylonians in the ships which they took pride hemp ship, okay? It's made of wood. It's got rope and rigging and the rudder is the tongue. That's why you see the relationship between the ship all the time and the body. You can't control the tongue unless the tongue is just continually praising God. At that point, who would want to control that? It's just an awesomeness. I am the Lord, your Holy One, Israel's creator, your king. Now, don't just go over your king, because we need to determine that Jesus is not the king of the Jews, because even Jesus says, careful written, did you come up with that idea, or did someone tell you that? Because I'm not the king of the Jews. I have a kingdom. It's waiting for me, because my king is God, the one and only of Israel. <laughs> I am God. I am Hashem. So, Recap to end this part of the video. This is what the Lord says about faithful or unfaithfulness, believing and not believing in the new air or being satisfied with the current air and being hungry and searching for something. For I will bring down as fugitives all the Babylonians in the ships that they took pride. I, the Lord, Hashem, the Holy One, your creator, your king, Baruch Hashem.